hello everyone hope all of you are doing good so today here i'm going to tell you what's the differences between centos 7 and centos 8 so let's get started first thing contents are what is centos second is key differences between centos 7 and centos 8 and third one is main which is security related changes in centos 8 and last one is new feature of CentOS 8 which were not present in CentOS 7. So let's start with what is CentOS. CentOS. So CentOS is a free open source enterprise class and community supported Linux operating system. So it is basically totally free for everyone. And uh, it first released in market in 2004 as a derivative of RHEL which is Red Hat enterprise Linux but it works dependently independently under new CentOS governing board CentOS is highly reliable stable and customizable there are other like uh, what we can say uh, other OS also which uh, works on Linux Linux so some of, some of them are like uh, Fedora Ubuntu then SUSE Linux and of course CentOS so CentOS is used by many organizations for development and production of the server then here you can see CentOS 8 and CentOS 7 main differences first of all release date so as you can say as you can see CentOS 8 took five years to release after CentOS 7 and both of the OS is having the same file system which is XFS some of some people call it next generation file system kernel version has increased to 4.18 from 10.3.10 and uh, now you can see maximum RAM is supported in CentOS 8 for 64 bit version is 24 terabyte which is huge previously it was 12 terabyte max now you can see default database has increased there are like mysql 8 mariadb postgresql 10 sql 9.6 and redis 5.0 previously the default database in centos 7 was mariadb only here you can see new versions of programming language which are python version 3 php 7 ruby 2.5 node js 10 Previously in CentOS 7, it was Python version 2, PHP 5, Ruby 2. Maximum supported file size is 1 petabyte, which is equ equivalent to 1024 terabyte. So right now in market, actually the highest storage hard drive is only 20 TB. So if you want to fill up one terabyte you will or at least need at least need 50 hard drives also you can see the main difference in package management is dnf which is dandified yum it is basically the next version upgraded version of yum previously in centos 7 you can see the yum packet manager was having 3.0 of course you will know the you know the name or full what yum stands for it is yellow dog updater modified also here you can see security has been upgraded drastically drastically and uh, you can see open secure socket layer which is 1.1.1 and tls is 1.3 previously it was 1.0.1 and tls was 1.0 so basically we are going to discuss about how security has enhanced in centos 8 so here you can see the main changes security related the new security is also a key element of centos 8 the addition of support of the open secure socket layer 1.1.1 and transport layer transport layer security 1.3 which is cryptographic standards make it remarkable so what is open ssl is it is secure socket layer that uh, secures the communication over the computers on the network what is tls so it is transport layer security it provides end-to-end -end data integrity 
so your data is very authenticated and there is no man in middle attacks here you can see by integrating the new features red hat makes it easier for system administrator to manage the administrator can switch between different modes such as default legacy features future and fips by using the new update crypto policy command so that's the command you can use for switching the modes so it will be easier for administrator to switch to different different modes and roles also system wide cryptographic policy are functional by default so what does that mean it means that all of the data in CentOS 8 whether it's yours or whether it's clients it's 100% encrypted so you can see the data authenticity there also we will see new features of CentOS 8 which were not in CentOS 7 first one is extended divide support so GNOME is the default file manager is now integrated with the Thunderbolt 3 connection support whenever Thunderbolt 3 establishes a connection and becomes active you will get quickly notified another feature is new boxes feature so it was previously not there but right now you can drag and drop to easily transfer the files between two network machines third one is new on-screen keyboard so GNOME team rewrote the on-screen keyboard for the newest release to resolve the praising UI issue so they have in like they have improved that uh, keyboard layout which supports for different different locales and uh, also auto keyboard activation is there now the last one is cockpit web console when you install CentOS 7 CentOS 8 it will automatically set up the co cockpit web console along with the opening the required firewall ports so cockpit web console is basically you can manage your all the servers in the web console interface so it will be easier to not to write each and every command and you can access things of your web servers in web console interface these two are the references which i used for making this video so hopefully you like it thank you so much